It has been said that inspiration is what happens when an idea takes hold of you and brings you to where you were originally intended to go in the first place. And with that thought in mind, yesterday we officially announced the successful acquisition of Conduct Technologies by well-established Silicon Valley company M-Cube, a leader in MEMS and sensor fusion technology. This is a phenomenal deal for our company, our region, and will allow the continued ascension of Conduct in the marketplace. This acquisition is a milestone, a major marker that proves that if you relentlessly and collectively move towards a common goal, eventually the universe will tap you on the shoulder and say, this is your time. Over the past decade, the Conduct team has experienced glorious highs, but also some punishing lows. But the constant has always been the people, the people who have pulled us through the many business concussions and played through the hard times. It is that determination and that singular focus that have brought us to today. Conduct is the perfect example of how a smaller team, a less experienced team, can outperform a bigger or more experienced one. We've achieved success in business the same way our clients do in sport, by taking in all the smaller bits of information and making valuable sense of the data and then using the results to achieve a bigger goal. September 2020 officially marks the 10 year anniversary of Conduct Technology. It has been 10 years of chasing our dreams as a company, 10 years of grinding, creating, battling and collaborating. Every phone call, every email, every seminar we attended, every line of code written, all of the tough conversations that we have had along the way have led us to this moment. And we certainly could never be accused of being a passive team. We were all about the full court press, all about the fast break. We never let the game come to us. We chased the game. And I'm not sure what percentage of our business success has been related to inspiration versus perspiration, but what I can tell you is the Conduct team is an extremely smart and capable group of people who have sweated out over long nights, long days, long weekends to bring us to this very singular and significant moment in time. Today's sale represents Nova Scotia's largest majority owned tech exit in our province's history and our country's largest sports tech exit. Today is a very proud day for Conduct, but it is also a very important day for our region. The statistics in the sports tech industry are not pretty. The odds were heavily stacked against us. And this makes it all the more rewarding to know that it was the smart, dedicated and talented East Coast experts working together, by the way, that have made this happen. It's not because we had a high chance of succeeding. It's because this collective mission stirred our souls. And it's important to point out that it's not about the money. Today is about the people, the people we became along this journey at Conduct and the character we showed as we struggled over obscene obstacles to create a championship mindset that sustained us through the dark days and now defines us on this very sunny day. I am personally consumed with gratefulness and appreciation to all of you who have been a part of this incredible journey. And this of course starts with my home team, my determined mother, my dedicated father, my loyal brother, and of course my loving wife, who are the ones who taught me how to conduct myself as a leader so that I could become the leader of Conduct. And I have been blessed to wake up every day with a sense of urgent purpose to put on my favorite hoodie, representing one of the many teams our company works with, and head down to our beautiful office that overlooks Halifax Harbor. And at Conduct, I feel the same biochemistry internally I once felt as a competitive athlete. Clenching adrenal glands, sweaty palms, racing heart. And I want to point out that I love the work largely because the people I work with, I love. And the best part of this Conduct story is that for a very long time, we thought someone else was going to show us the way. Someone from Palo Alto or, or New York or London or Austin, when in actual fact, it was the people from, from Shelburne or Yarmouth or Sydney Mines or Glace Bay that helped to figure this out. This is an important message for our children. Young people who will always be influenced by their culture, but who will forever be defined by their character. Passion, perseverance, and personal belief are much more important than where you live or what school you attended in the past. And it's important to note that our company's backbone, our DNA has been both kindness and consistent humility. Never underestimate the power of being kind. 
I wanna point out that today's deal is about the 16-year-old high school student from Halifax wondering what they will do in their future. It's about the 12-year-old from the Parsboro shore with an endless imagination who has an idea that can change the world. And it's about our grandkids and our great-grandkids knowing that they don't have to move away from this wonderful place to be wonderfully successful. There are, of course, some people I need to thank. And let me start with Atlantic Canadians. Conduct is so proud to represent this region. And at the earliest possible opportunity, we've always proudly let people we work with or meet know where we are from. I also wanna single out the local tech community. You have inspired us along the way. Keep up the fight. It is important work that you are doing, so thank you. And also our competition, they've always kept us in this zone of discomfort and pushed us to get better. And of course, our investors, thank you for the many lessons and incredible guidance that you have given us along the way. And to our clients and partners, it is very true when they say that you're as good as the people that you associate yourself with and these intelligent, innovative, and most importantly, kind people have literally made us who we are today. And as for our families, these are the people who have carried the biggest crosses of all. And make no mistake about it, nobody pays a bigger price than them. And personally, I have dragged my wife and three kids across three continents. I miss countless basketball games and even birthdays and not once did they complain. And on that note, I want to thank my children from the bottom of my heart. And I will never push you to a certain profession or in a direction in life, but I do hope you consider taking the road less traveled, the difficult path, and the one that leads to the best version of yourself and provides you with the route to fulfillment. Lastly, I wanna thank Ben Lee, the CEO of MCube and MCube themselves. Thank you for the belief in conduct as a people, and thank you for the belief in conduct as a company. You certainly learn a lot about someone when you go through a long, tough negotiation. And when things went wrong or got difficult, Ben always saw things from both sides. And I know he's a man of honorability and integrity. And I will proudly follow him and his colleagues as we take on these new challenges together. In closing, I am humbled and honored to share this experience with you all. But I want to remind everyone the conduct story is not over. We are now a part of a larger and stronger team. So tonight, we will sip champagne from our own version of the Stanley Cup. It is time to celebrate. But remember, a new season begins today, and we have important work to do. Great teams win one season, but legacy teams win many. And Conduct, as a part of M-Cube, we will be a legacy team, I have no doubt. Thank you very much.